Hi Stampers! This is Karen Phillip. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm pleased to show you this technique today called Chevron Fold. This is the fold, how it looks. It could go, uh, let's see, this would be vertical or horizontal, whichever way you'd prefer. For the club members, this is what your instruction sheet will look like. You'll only get three of these little pieces but that's what it should look like. I've also, this you'll find on the website, this little guide here and it has numbers and how all of your little pieces should look. Your sheets do not have this if you've not gotten them yet and those you'll have to put in the numbers. So let's get started. I'm using the designer paper called Blackberry Beauty Specialty Paper. It's shiny on one side, or it has gold inlays on every other side, and the other side is just a really pretty fall color. Okay, so here's the kit. For this card, I am using some embossing folders. They're, they're, it's a set called Checks and Dots. So these are the checks, these are the dots, and I'm using the dots. Oops, dots. I've run a piece of Sahara Sand cardstock through the dots folder, and this is the result of that. This piece is 2 by 5 and I also have some gold strips, gold foil strips that are half inch by five. The first thing I'm doing for this technique is putting on the gold foil and I'm adhering the oops, this may not work, oh we're okay. The um, stamp, stamp and Seal Plus but the only problem with that sometimes is you get a little over the edge, but then you make sure that it's pushed over, otherwise it will show. So I might just go back to the other adhesive for the other side. Okay, so you have your adhesive on one side of it. You'll take your strip, your gold strip, and this I found the easiest. If you lay it down, start on one side, left or the right, and just set it down. Darn, I keep seeing some of this adhesive popping out. So you put it about a third of the way up. Sort of touch it down, but don't press down until you have your other side. And I'm using my other hand to just kind of guide it so that the sides are equal. And then push down. And you can maybe see that I have some of that adhesive sticking out so you just have to be really careful because you can't erase the adhesive on the foil. So I'm going to use my old standby, my tape runner, not stamping up but it, I had more control over it. Same thing, you will set it down a little bit and then you will push it so that the, these are even and just press it down. Okay, that's that's the easier part. Next step, you will need five of these pieces of the designer paper, and these pieces are two and three eighths by two and a half. No wait, two and three eighths by one. So we're going to be folding them, and they will look like this. We will have three that will be this way and two that will be the opposite. And again, that's where I show this picture. So we will have three that look one way and two that look another. I'll show you what that looks like. So this one I folded this way. And these these will go on the right. So these will be my left ones. So what you need to do, decide what side you want on your front. I want this side on my front, so I'm flipping these all over to go the correct direction. All right. So now I'm taking the first one, I'm folding it from the left down to the right. And you want to make sure that these are 
straight with the edge right here and you'll be able to tell if this is straight or not because it has a design and I can see it's just a little bit off and that little bit will make a difference so we're just starting with the top pieces so we do three of these like this we just fold it down and then this way and then the other two pieces the piece will come down to the right from the right to the left so I'm taking this other one and going right to left there we go so you can see that so three of them go one direction and two go the other the next step will be taking the bottoms to make them look like this so we're going to there's a right and a wrong way so I'll show you the wrong way first the wrong way will be going from the right in and and this is the result if you do it incorrectly so you will end up with a little kind of a tent housey look and then you know you have it incorrect we're going for a diamond look so you can see the difference you don't want the house you want the diamond and diamonds are a girl's best friend so if you remember that that will keep it in mind how you're supposed to do it okay so now we're going from the bottom right up to the to the side of the left so we'll do three of them like that we're going for the diamond look if you flip them over see so they have the diamond shape and then these two will go the opposite will go left to right there we go now when we put these on our card there's a couple things that are important so if you want to do it this way again if you use the sheet or you use the picture it's one two three four five so that they go in like every other one so if you take number one number two number three number four and number five that way you'll have them in order so you'll have every other and that should be helpful when you're trying to put it on your card my first suggestion I guess I'll do it this way my first suggestion would be to just lay it on your card first to make sure it's going to fit you will line the left side up with the first piece it may extend over the gold or it may be even with it it depends how well you how not necessarily well but how you put on your gold piece the next piece is your number two piece that is this way so these ends meet now this was something that we learned in our class people had their pieces like extend way off so you have to make sure that this is totally up and down and because we're using the polka dots you'll be able to see I don't know if you can see this or not but this is not perfectly straight so I have to make it go up just a little bit you might have to make a few adjustments and then this one will go here so the important thing is keeping this parallel to the dots now if you don't have dotted paper that's fine too but this is helpful with this particular card so put that on there and then the last one like this and you should come out even on your on your piece and that's what it'll look like so now let's put it on our card or put it on our we'll, we'll glue it down so I'm just using a little adhesive put it again the left parallel with the side make sure you're lining up this way parallel it looks a little bit off so I'm just going to turn it just a tad and that tad makes such a big difference okay this is number the second piece the opposites the opposite side that meets up this way again this is not straight so we want to make sure that it's straight otherwise the whole thing will be off and then if there's a little gap here you just have to move your fold just a little bit and then you won't have that gap next one 
Oops. I'm getting a little high there. So it's an easy technique, but it's a, I'm going to call it a technical technique because you need to be very precise on your angles. Otherwise, it will not be, it will not line up within your parameters here. So mine lined up pretty good. There we go. And that's how you get your, now here up, I don't know again if you can see, but there's just a tiny bit of a gap. So then you just kind of push down your fold a little bit. Some people were asking if they could score this first. And not really, because the scoring, uh, I guess not gap, but the scoring line is wider than what this would be if that makes sense so the it, it doesn't it doesn't help it at all to score your scoring tools are are wider than what this flat needs to be I think now you're totally confused but <laughs> all right so we'll add this you can try to score it first and see what happens. So I'm using a piece of rich raspberry, folded in half, the eight and a half by eight and a half by uh, five and a half, scored in half. This is a four by five and a quarter, and then my three by no two and a half, two by five with the gold on, it. and then we'll just put that onto the card. And it can go either direction. You can have your pieces going to the right or to the left. I guess however you started it is how it's going to go. Okay. And then I took a piece of 3 quarter inch by 4 inches. And I stamped this happy birthday. This is the Celebrate with Flower stamp set. There's a happy birthday. They have a nice sentiment that says, May your day be filled with sunshine. And we just, I embossed that with white embossing powder. We'll just put that on your card. And there we have a pretty card. If you would like, you could add some jewels. And here I added some of these 2023 in color jewels. And it kind of adds a little bit, but it's not necessary either way. And that's it for this technique. It's like I said, it's fairly simple, but it's technical, so it gets confusing. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this card. And I hope it doesn't get too confusing for you. If it does, just simply drop me a line and I'll try to walk you through it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.